In this video, we'll see how to insert rows and columns into your Excel sheet. So let us see that. Now, I've written some data into some sheet. The name of the sheet is insert rows and columns. That is the sheet name. The file name is Excel VBA. That's the data which is given here. Now, if I want to insert rows and columns without the macros, how do we do it usually? We right click on this place, okay, any cell, and then we click on this insert button. We get this dialog box. It says entire row or entire column. Which one do you want? So this cell I've selected as B4, okay, and I can select as entire row or entire column. So row or column will be inserted at this place. So I'll just click on cancel. But how do I do it with the help of a macros, VBA macros? So let us see that. I'll open the VBA macro window, okay, that's a window which is given here. Now, so I have this names of all the list. Uh, these are the sheet names which are given. I'll maximize these objects, okay? And now these are the names of the modules which are given. So what I've done is I've created a model, insert rows and columns, the model name, and I've written some code here. Let us see what exactly the code is. I've written a sub procedure, sub insert row and column. The first one is given as range C to C, that is dot insert. Now what is C to C? It's nothing but the name of the column. So if I say C to C, a column will be inserted in this place itself, okay? Next one, if you see range one is to one, that is given as dot insert. One is to one means row number is given as for inserting it. If you want to insert, uh, let's say C to D column, okay? So you can insert as C to D and that means two columns will be inserted. If we want to insert four columns, you can insert as A to D from here, A colon D. So from A colon to D colon, all the columns will be inserted. Okay, that is how you can work on it. Next is, let's see now if I execute those two lines, what will happen if I keep my cursor and if I click on this step into, step into. Now if you observe here C colon C, that means a C column will be inserted into this place. Okay, a separate column. Now if you see a column is inserted, this has been shifted to the right hand side. If I want to insert the first row, one colon one, that is if I click on this place, and if you see the first column, I mean the first row is inserted here, that is one column one. Next is if I want to insert at cell number B5, at cell number B5, I want to insert entire column. So range B5 dot entire column dot insert. So let us see cell number B5, this is Wednesday, okay. At this place, a separate column will be inserted. Let's see if I click on this step into, you see, at cell number B5, the entire column has been inserted. Similarly, if I want to insert a row at that cell number B5, right now it is empty. B5 is right now empty. So entire row will be inserted at this location. If I click on the step into, now if you observe row number five is been blank now, that means a new row which has been inserted. And finally, I will come out of this sub procedure itself, right? So these are very, very simple and easy commands that is inserting rows and columns or if you don't want at specific location, you can select this areas also, right? So I hope you were able to understand how to insert rows and columns with respect to the cell or without the cell itself. That's all for this video.